This is a Mega Mole, and this is a Charge and Chuck. And today, we're looking at 30 new enemies that we need in Mario Maker 3. Boos are amazing enemies that can add spookiness to any level. One variation that was overlooked in Mario Maker 2 is the Boo Block. You see, these Boos have the ability to turn into blocks when Mario is looking at them, and he can actually step on top of them and use them as terrain. Boo blocks can add a new element for platforming or even reward very curious players by adding secrets in otherwise unreachable areas. We all desperately want a beach theme in the third installment of the Mario Maker Saga, and what better enemy to go with it than the Hucket Crab? The Hucket Crab throws an unlimited amount of rocks from its claw that fly in a straight line. These new crustaceans can help enhance the atmosphere by giving us more options than just cheap cheeps and bloopers for water-related levels. Speaking of more water-related enemies, Mario Maker 3 needs Skeeters. These spider-like enemies can walk on top of water, but can also walk on land. Skeeters paired with water rising and falling could make for really fun challenges for the player to interact with. Slap on a clear condition to not touch the ground, and these enemies can let creators have more possibilities to torture Mario. Lava bubbles are iconic and all, but fire snakes are much more interesting. These fire serpents can follow Mario and are able to jump up and climb through semi-solids. They could even make for some really interesting darkness levels where Mario uses the snake as a tool to see the path forward before jumping. Let's keep turning up the heat with the flame chomp. It's basically a chain chomp with fireballs as the chains and it can fly. The flame chomp shoots fireballs from its tail, but when it runs out, it explodes like a bob bomb. Even though this enemy is less popular in the series, the dynamic element of it shooting flames until it runs out and then exploding could be really interesting to build around. Mario could be in levels where he needs to strategize and help guide the fireballs, and then use the flame chomp to explode and open a secret room. Fuzzies are a long overdue addition to the Mario Maker toolkit. These cute but ugly blobs typically move along wires and damage Mario on contact, but can be defeated with fireballs or a star. Not only would fuzzies be great as obstacles for traditional style platforming levels, but they would also be a great variation for rising lava in themes other than the castle theme. Mario 3D World added this idea in the game, and these were some of my favorite moments that we could carry over to Mario Maker 3. The Shy Guy has been a staple character in the Mario universe all the way back to Super Mario Bros. 2. Behavior-wise, this enemy would be basically a reskinned Goomba, but could come in multiple colors like Koopas. Shy Guys have started to become more associated with Yoshi and Paper Mario games than mainline Mario games, but with the inclusion of the Super Mario Bros. 2 Mushroom, I think it's only a matter of time that we get these enigmatic enemies. Next on the list is a variation of the Shy Guy called a Sniffit. To make things more interesting than the basic enemy, this enemy can shoot bullets from its mouth every once in a while for Mario to dodge. Piranha plants are one of the most common enemies in Mario Maker 2, but what we need to do is add Tui. This character first appeared in Super Mario Bros. 3 and can shoot spike balls up into the sky at different speeds while moving left and right. This variation could definitely spice up piranha plant levels and could work similarly to the way we place piranha creepers or snake blocks in the editor. Okay, so hear me out. We have Hammer Brothers in the game, and we have the Boomerang Flower in the game. What if we had the Boomerang Bro? These baddies started tormenting Mario in Super Mario Bros. 3 and throw a projectile that curves and then returns. Mario Maker has so many linear bullet type attacks, and Boomerang Bros will help people get more creative. If you ask any Mario Maker 2 player what their most wanted enemy is, Charge and Chuck will be near the top of their list. For anyone that doesn't know about Charge and Chuck, he's basically what would happen if Koopa played sports 24-7 and got really buff. This enemy has seven variations and can throw baseballs, kick footballs, fling rocks, and more. Charge and Chuck also takes more hits to be defeated, which can add another layer of difficulty in levels without just spamming more enemies everywhere. It may be difficult to program all these variations into every game style, but I think it will be well worth it for all the unique levels creators will come up with. Super Mario World brought us a unique starting enemy, Rex. He's a winged dinosaur that can't fly, but he takes two hits to defeat. Even cooler, his behavior changes after the first hit. He gets shorter and runs faster. I can see creative players making puzzle levels where you need to strategically pick a height for a different amount of Rex enemies in order to solve a room and move forward. Or, a simpler idea is to use both Rex and Yoshi to have a dinosaur-themed world for your first Mario Maker 3 Super World. 
This next enemy is one of the coolest looking enemies in any Mario game. Mega Mole is a giant Monty Mole with sunglasses that Mario can actually ride on top of or get hit by. This baddie is super versatile and can be used as a vehicle to get across spikes or just as a big creature to have to avoid. Sumo Bros are Koopas that ate too much and can now stomp to cause big fires or electric shockwaves. We need more beefy enemies that add challenge to Mario Maker 3 and the Sumo Bro can definitely do that. I can already see tons of creators making tough platforming levels where you need to avoid the Sumo Bros attacks or boss fights with added danger coming from these overweight turtles. Have you ever wondered what a baby thwomp would look like? A thwimp is just a fun-sized thwomp that can jump around but still hurt Mario. They're not too difficult to avoid, but they jump in a curved pathway, which can definitely add some flavor in your next castle course. They can also be placed to jump on top of question blocks for more risk versus reward for Mario. The Bruiser is an enemy that didn't join the Mario universe until new Super Mario Bros, but they definitely have become an enemy we need. These flailing punchers are actually big gray boos that can burst through certain blocks and sometimes launch barrels at Mario. My favorite part about them is that they follow Mario and can break through where most enemies can't. A single bruiser in a level can either be a multi-hit enemy to deal with in a tight space, a supporting goon for a boss, or even just a tool to find a hidden secret. The acorn suit was a really fun addition in the 3.0 update, which has me wondering, why weren't waddle wings added as well? These are the enemy equivalent of that power-up, cute squirrels who can glide across levels and cling to walls. My favorite part is that these enemies can patrol the skies by gliding in an area, grabbing a wall, then changing directions. Waddle Wings would add fun dodging for sky platforming levels and even more interesting elements for don't touch the ground levels. Mario Maker 2 was codenamed Slopes in development, but we need more enemies that can take advantage of these. The Cooligan takes sliding on slopes to a whole new level, this sunglasses wearing penguin can slide on the ground and bounce off of obstacles and takes two hits to defeat. With the cool again added to the game, more creators will make interesting terrain in their levels to take advantage of the way these penguins can bounce around and slide down slopes. Plus, if they're going to add the ice flower like I think they will, the cool again fits perfectly with icy levels. Speaking of ice, you know those fire turtles in the 3D world style and those plants that launch fireballs? We need both of those, but cold. The Ice Bro and Ice Piranha Plant would be a few of many ways to add the freeze mechanic that's currently missing for Mario Maker 2. Instead of just burning Mario to a crisp like they do every time, I would love for these frosty fiends to capture him in a block of ice while he mashes his way to freedom. If we were to make a hybrid monster between a thwomp and a spike ball, we would get a Grohl. These rollers act like spike balls, except they turn around when hitting obstacles instead of breaking. We have so many levels that use sideways trampolines in Mario Maker 2 to try to mimic this behavior, but frankly, it limits what we can do and doesn't look very good. Grolls are the roller patrollers that Mario Maker 3 needs. Everyone knows that Mario can defeat most enemies from above, but how many can he hit from below? The Bramble is a ball with spiky vine legs attached to suction cup feet and actually rewards Mario with coins from being hit underneath if he times it right. Adding more risky ways to interact with enemies for rewards will definitely make for some really creative levels in Mario Maker 3. So this next enemy idea might shock you, and that's because it's literally a ball of electricity. The amp hovers or circles around an area and zaps Mario if he touches it. It'd be amazing if you could create the pathway for these little orbs, similar to the way that we use snake blocks. I would love to see these lightning balls protect a juicy power-up or as minions in a tough boss fight. The Heave Ho is an enemy that has only existed in 3D, but actually could translate really well into all game styles in Mario Maker 3. This reject Roomba follows Mario around and flips him up behind it. The Heave Ho could be dangerous by potentially throwing Mario in a pit, but otherwise would just annoy Mario and could throw him into other treacherous obstacles. This type of enemy opens up a whole new world for puzzle solving and hidden secrets and levels, and even though this probably is one of the least likely from my list, it would be an amazing addition. You know what I've been thinking? We don't have enough derpy rock slabs in Mario Maker. That's why I propose we add in Womp. He is a walking slab of stone that uses his own face to flatten Mario. They act calm until Mario approaches, and then it increases speed and attempts to slam. The version in 2D would be really unique to other enemies in that it becomes almost a background element until Mario gets close, but could also be used to reach high places if Mario is careful. 
Enemies that will add the most depth to Mario Maker 3 are the ones that bring fresh mechanics we haven't been able to use yet. The block stepper from Mario 3D World can only appear in groups of two or more. Defeating one of these will make the others become frantic and run away for a short time, but then eventually chase Mario seeking vengeance. Connecting enemies in this way could make for some incredible pacifist type of level where you can't touch a single enemy. It could even just be useful when putting a key inside of an enemy where it would only release the key once all of the enemies in the group are defeated. The Brolder as an enemy itself doesn't seem creative at first glance, but what we can do with it in Mario Maker 3 could be amazing. This rolling boulder enemy turns into a giant rock when you jump on it and can only be defeated by throwing it into a pit. It would also be similar to a Koopa that wakes up after a certain amount of time, except that these boulders can break through hard blocks and question blocks if Mario throws it. I would love to see a boss battle where these enemies constantly try to roll at Mario and he needs to dodge both them and use them as ammo to defeat the boss. Conkters are one of those enemies that are so simple yet so effective. This big flamingo waits for Mario to come close and then slams down to the ground with its beak. In a 2D game style, Conktors would be in the background and only be able to be defeated after they attack, adding in a whole new layer of strategy for Mario. These enemies would be the perfect addition for levels where Mario needs to move in a slow and calculated way, but also a great addition for speedrun type levels where he barely outruns the danger behind him. The Fizzlet is an enemy that can melt into a puddle and shock Mario. This dynamic enemy is vulnerable and cute until they turn liquid and shocky. Mario Maker 3 needs more enemies that require strategy and timing to work with, and the Fizzlet is the perfect candidate. Twisters are such a cool idea, but why are they only vertical? And also, why are they a gizmo? Anyway, we need Typhoos in the game. They're basically a sideways twister enemy that can start and stop periodically. Typhoos could slow Mario down, give him more speed, or even try to push him off an edge. I figured, since they programmed Wind into the Desert Knight theme, Typhoos can't be that difficult to add, right? What's your most wanted enemy for Mario Maker 3? Legend has it that the enemy with the most comments below is guaranteed to be in the next game. While you're waiting for Mario Maker 3, click on this video on the screen to check out these unbelievable levels in Mario Maker 2. I'm Aristotle, and thanks for watching.